Hello, I'm Ash, and welcome to an in-depth breakdown into Dragon Age 3, an overview of what the devs have told us since the announcement leading up to its anticipated showcase at E3 next week. Let's get started. Dragon Age 3 Inquisition will be made by Bioware and published by EA. Dragon Age 3 will be one of the first games to showcase the new Frostbite 3 engine, in addition to Battlefield 4, Need for Speed Rivals, and the next Mass Effect. The new game is quote stunningly beautiful, offering a more expansive world, better visuals, more reactivity to player choices, and more customization. All these things are great improvements based on the feedback from DA2. More on the engine and customization, hints have circulated regarding Frostbite 3's engine and its usage for the modding community. While DA2 did not opt for a toolset featured similarly in Origins, a toolset for Dragon Age, or perhaps Frostbite itself, has been subtly mentioned. At the Bioware panel of PAX East this year, the devs mentioned their love for the modding community and their willingness to make modding easier and possible if they can. In any event, back to Dragon Age 3. Dragon Age 3 starts at the present age of Dragon, year 40. Leading up to this time is the Mage Templar War, set into motion by Anders at the end of Dragon Age 2 during year 37. In the three years' time between Anders destroying Kirkwall's Chantry and Varric interrogated by secret Cassandra Pentagast, the following events occur. The Orlesian civil war brews between Grand Duke Caspar de Chalon and Empress Selene. While unrest swelled in Orlais, the cure for tranquility was found at the Abyssal Reach, but that small hope for mages stood idle due to in year 40, after news of an elven rebellion in Halam Shiral, the Empress is called out of Val Royale. A rebellion similar to the Circle at Kirkwall happens at the White Spire, a circle tower in Orlais. The events conspiring at the tower lead Lord Seeker Lambert to not only announce the fall of the Circle of Magi, but the nullification of the Navarran Accord. This act destroys the bond of both Seeker and Templars serving the Chantry. What's left now is Liliana and Cassandra's attempt to finding Hulk, acting under the authority of the Divine. What we do know? Civil War is killing Orlais, mages and Templars are at each other's throats, and both the Warden Commander and Hulk are missing. This is the world where Dragon Age 3 will take us. The protagonist of DA3, we know very little. It's more of what we know is not true. Bioware devs announced at the Edmonton Comic and Entertainment Expo that the character is human and will have control of an entire castle in an unknown location. The character is not an Amal, nor is required to follow the Chantry, or believe in the Maker. Your character's background is up to you, not in the same capacity as living out the origin story, much like the first Dragon Age, but more familiar to the Mass Effect character background. Very few characters have been confirmed thus far. Here are a few of them. Cohn was accidentally revealed by his voice actor, Greg Ellis, taking a picture of his voice capturing station and posting it on Twitter last year. Flemeth was strongly hinted by Mike Laidlaw, creative director of the Dragon Age series. Her appearance as well as Morgan's are to be expected with the current Mage Templar War. Sandal and Bodan most likely will be appearing in DA3 as they move to Orlais after Empress Selene requested them in the year 37. However, with her disappearance in year 40, we question what they will be doing. If I had to make predictions based on the lore, these are prospective companions. Knight Captain Evangeline de Brasset. In Dragon Age Asunder, one of the heroes of the Fifth Blight and well-known companion from the first game, Wynne sacrifices herself by transferring the spirit of Faith inside her to Evangeline. Considering Dragon Age's unhealthy obsession with spirits and abominations from Wynne and her spirit to Anders and Justice, she may play a role in the next game. Sherrod, also Hawk's cousin, skilled archer and blood related to Hawk, her character may be used as she has the closest relation to the champion besides either Bethany or Kava. Colin is also pretty obvious, as the devs were plenty surprised at the positive response to his character throughout Dragon Age 1 and 2. Given his last appearance, defying Knight Commander Meredith and possibly the next in charge, we may see more of him serving as Templar or otherwise. Cassandra Pentagast could also fit as a companion. Her involvement with the Seekers, as well as her presence in Dragon Age 2 and Dragon Age Dawn of the Seeker cannot be forgotten. Whether any of these characters are in the final game are to be determined. Surely we will see some of these characters make appearances in the next installment. If you want to catch up on what will likely preface Dragon Age 3, I highly suggest David Gator's book, Dragon Age Asunder, 
which includes the Mage Templar conflict, more specifically the White Spire incident and the nullification of the Navarin Accord. I also suggest the latest hardcover, Dragon Age World of Thetis, Volume 1. Links to both books are in the description. That's the long and short of it. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with more information on Dragon Age 3 and the next Mass Effect from E3 next week. See you in Los Angeles. One day the magic will come back. All of it. Everyone will be just like they were. The shadows will part. And the skies will open wide. When he rises, 